All right, everybody, are you ready for the second road trip in our five-part series? Yay! Hi there, I'm Stan Hartsheim with Double H Home Loans. Thanks for joining me on this edition of Why Not Wyoming. If you've been watching all of my other videos, you know we're about to embark on a road trip through the park-to-park -park region of Wyoming. So hop on board and let's hit the road. One of the best ways to explore this entire region is to jump on the park-to-park -park highway. This was a really popular route in the early 1900s as automobiles became more popular. It connects 12 national parks. So today, we're gonna to be starting off at the far south edge of the region, just north of the state line at the Terry Bison Ranch. Just off the highway, you can't miss all the signs. Here, you're gonna be able to hop on board a custom-made train that'll take you right out to the middle of the working bison herd on the ranch. Then you're gonna be able to head back towards the ranch and stop off at the Senator Steakhouse, sink your teeth into one of their really juicy bison burgers. This famous burger is consistently at the top of the voting for best in the state. Since we're just south of Cheyenne, right after dinner, let's head into town and do some dancing, listen to some live music. We can stop off at Sanford's, the Outlaw Saloon, or why not head over to one of the newest joints in Cheyenne called Dillinger's. After dancing the night away, we can head over to the Historic Plains Hotel and get a good night's sleep. Before we head out in the morning, let's get some exercise by walking through Cheyenne's beautiful botanic gardens and their grand conservatory. Now that we've stretched our legs, we're going to jump in the car and head north up to uh, Torrington and Guernsey. We'll be passing the Fort Laramie Historic Site along the way. And we can stop off at the Table Mountain Winery, take an art class, and enjoy a tasting of the seven wines that are made right there on site. To get in on the painting classes, you may need to make a reservation, so plan ahead. Some really great places along the route for camping, boating, and other activities would be the Glendo and Guernsey State Parks uh, and their beautiful reservoirs. Next up on our trip, we'll be hitting up Douglas, and we're definitely gonna be stopping there to take a photo op with the eight foot jackalope statue. Legend has it, this mythical creature was born right here in Douglas. So now you know. After we stop off for a nice little picnic at the Ayers Natural Bridge, we're gonna be heading back on the road north to Casper. Located right here in the middle of the state, Casper is where the Oregon, Californian, and Mormon trails all converged. And you can learn a little bit more about each of these by visiting the National Historic Trails Interpretive Center located right there in town. You'll be able to stretch your legs a little bit by visiting the Garden Creek Falls or the Platte River Trails. That will also give you a great opportunity for some photography or just taking in the scenery. Depending on what time of year it is, we might decide we want to spend a day skiing or snowboarding over at Hogadon or taking in some fishing on the Miracle Mile. Here, you'll be able to find rainbow, cutthroat, and brown trout that are very plentiful in this region. And if you really want to hedge your bets for a great catch, there's local guides that you can hire. They'll show you all the honey spots. As we continue to head just a little bit further north, we're going to move into Thermopolis and the Wind River Canyon. You're not going to find a lot of places that are cooler than Hell's Half Acre. Or maybe I just think the name's cool. I don't know. You decide. When you wrap up your hike, why not head over to the hot springs for some relaxation and some pampering? Well guys, here we are, once again, ready to enter Yellowstone National Park. Did I mention that all roads lead to Yellowstone? I sure hope my driving wasn't too scary for the second leg of our trip as we headed through the park to park region of Wyoming. So I'm Stan, your mortgage man, and I hope you'll join me when we take on the third leg of our trip in the next episode of Why Not? We'll be traveling from the Rockies to the Tetons in the next region of Wyoming, so you're not going to want to miss that one. Until then, have a lot of fun researching all of these areas we've discussed, and in the meantime, if you have any questions about how you can make Wyoming your home, hit me up by email or phone. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and share with all your friends.